What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Kona Mo'o Series 12 team, a pseudo legendary that does not get that much love in, in the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go people get on top of that it really does go a long way i want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers and everybody who support me because my channel has been doing really good as of recently so anybody who tunes in and watches anyone who likes the videos and all my subscribers you guys are the real ones thank you guys so much for supporting me it really does go a long way but i want to give another huge shout out to the team creator before we get into today's team preview and that is it's a, it's a little weird situation here so a viewer sent me this team one of my viewers sent me this team and it comes to find out this this team is made by a viewer of another per person who does Pokemon content. So I want to give a huge shout out to the channel, Pokesports. Thank you so much for using this team. And shout out to your viewer, Maru, for actually making this team. Makes sense now, guys. I will be leaving links down in the description below to the uh, creator's team and to Pokesports' channel. So hopefully you guys go check them out. Show them some genius love over there. But uh, let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview. Starting off with Thunderous over here. He's defiant with Life Orb. This Pokemon has been phenomenal in Series 12. It just works well on every single team. We got Wild Charge. We got Fly. We got Brick Break to Break Screens and Coverage Move. And then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is Substitute Zassian. That's all you guys need to know. Substitute Zassian's on the team. He's a great Pokemon. He's an absolute beast in Series 12. <laughs> Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. We got the As One ability alongside with the Focus Ash. Because you know, Focus Ash is the best item for Calyrex. We got Protect, Expanding Force, Energy Ball, and Astro Barrage, which is a pretty solid move set for any Calyrex. Fourth Pokemon on squad is Incineroar. Shukaberry Incineroar, that's all you guys need to know. Most meta Incineroar you guys will ever see. If you guys want to see more, you guys can legit just look at it. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the reason I picked this team. We got Kona Moa over here with Overcoat and Throat Spray. Then he has Clanging Scales and Calandra Scales to set up and get this Pokemon rolling because one of those moves actually boosts every single one of his stats, which is absolutely amazing. And then we got Aurora Spear for Stab and Flamethrower for our Lone some coverage move. Cannot wait to use that Pokemon and showcase him to his fullest potential. Final Pokemon is going to be Indeedee over here, and Indeedee is so good with this squad because it is our only, like, support mod. It, it pairs up with the Calyrex to drop the Psychic Terrain and allow him to go Expanding Force all out, and it allows Konomo'o to potentially set up with just Follow Me, redirecting shots, and having that Konomo'o using those clanging skills to set up its stats boost. But guys, there's team preview. If you guys want to write this code for yourself, the rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Konomo'o team. As you guys know, it is the end of the month, which means it's the end of the season. And I am ranked kind of low in Master Tier. I'm ranked like 3,000. But I just got paired up with somebody who's 201. Come on, yo. That, that's a big gap. That is a big gap. I feel like I'm going to get smacked up here. But hopefully we can uh, rock out here and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Solgaleo, Glacier, Mimikyu for Trick Room. And then he also has a Torkoal and Gastrodon. How should I play this one? How should I go about it? I could go into Instant War turn one just to fake out. But then he could also go into a Pokemon just like Mimikyu and kind of roll off from there. So how do I want to do this? He doesn't have any follow me. He does have Torkoal though. And we know Torkoal is kind of scary. I kind of want to go Calyrex turn one. I kind of just want to go Calyrex just to counteract on a lot of different of these Pokemon and then roll into a Pokemon like Go on the Konomo. Oh, he doesn't have no follow me. That's what works really well for us. Let me see your speed, Konomo. Oh. Let me see your speed, little buddy. This is 149. I actually want to kind of go Zassy and just double down onto my uh Double down onto my restricted mods and that thing's shiny. That thing's gorgeous. I kind of want to go you. Let's go Zassy. Zassy and bring Konomo in the back end and then last but not least I think we just need to go all like offensive powerhouse, or we can go Incineroar. Um, lean towards Thunderous here. Actually, let's go Incineroar. Let's rip in with Incineroar. I'm liking it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But this team's a little, a little crazy right here. A little crazy right here. But we're gonna lead over Trick Demons. I feel like we can kind of counter up Trick Room really, really well here. If we do do that. I wonder who he's gonna go into. You confuse me, man. This guy's confusing me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but you guys know the deal. Let me know in the comment section down below before battle number one even starts. Question of the day is what pseudo legendary is your least favorite? I asked what is your guys' favorite, but now I'm asking you guys what is your least favorite. So let me know in the comment section down below. Because a lot of people do say Konomo'o, but I actually really like that Pokemon. I think he's a cool little booger. I think he's a cool little booger, but uh, how should we play this one? I think guess Focus Ash is going to be out and about, right? From both Calyrexes. You're probably rocking a weakness policy onto that, so Galio, which is a little scary. We might Dynamax, but I don't know if he's going to stay in with him. I really don't know if he's going to stay in with him. I might double down into that, uh, into that Calyrex. Just get rid of it. But yeah, I got to drop an Astro Barrage all day. Double super effective. I could sub up if I wanted to. 
I just don't think that's the play. I could go into Behemoth Blade. Could go into Blade Rough. Um, I think I'm just double down into you, right? Into Calyrex. I just think that's my play. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up protecting you. That is huge. That's huge. So we're doubling down into Calyrex turn one, which is solid for us. He's going to go for a Bulldoze and slow us down just a little bit. But I'm cool. Calyrex is going to go down from here. And we're going to be able to roll out. So I could have set up a sub if I wanted to, but he's just going to take a little bit of speed control. Calyrex might still be fast on the field because it's just a fast pick one all around. But we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Definitely could have set up a nice little sub. Definitely could have subbed up. Maybe he thought I was protecting. But yeah, we're just gonna Astro Barrage. Focus Ash. It is Focus Ash. A good thing we did double down into this Pokemon. Knowing that it was gonna be Focus Ash, we can drop a nice little Behemoth Blade and get rolling from here. Ah, uh, so he slowed us down just a little bit. I'm surprised he protected though. I'm surprised he protected in Bulldoze. I guess he just wanted a little bit of speed control there. But solid double down from us. We are rolling out with his strong start and battle. But yeah, this guy's 201 in the world. I don't know if he just like ranked up there and stopped playing, but no, it's the end of the season. It's the end of the season. This guy's, this guy's rolling out strong in the season. Having a great record. 201, that's high. That's high. That's higher than I have ever been. My highest was like four, low 490s, four top 500. Top 500 for me. And that was like way back in the day. I remember I was using a Mudsdale and a Durant. I was rolling out with that. It wasn't like Mudsdale and Durant on the same team. It was a like Mudsdale team and a Durant team. Like I was using two separate teams to push the ladder. But he's going to end up going into there. Um, I mean, he could pop a trick room now, but we are slow. I could pop a subby. Could definitely pop a subby, but I think I'm just gonna double down into you. Get rid of you, right? I still have my Dynamax in the back end. Hmm. Give me my player. We double down. I'm gonna double down into you. He gives me no reason not to. I'm gonna end up with Troll and Mimikyu. That's totally fine. We're doubling down into this Pokemon. And who's his final Pokemon gonna be? It's gonna be Gastrodon. And uh, Gastrodon's uh, that's okay. Ain't bad, and he's gonna end up Dynamax and Slowbro. Okay. So we're gonna pop policy here. Maybe he'll go first and we can eat up whatever he has to offer, because that could be huge for us. I would absolutely love that. If he goes first, now that we're slower on the bulldoze. But I just think Calyrex is still gonna be faster than that. 222 speed minus one. This thing's probably around like 150. But I think Calyrex still just outspeeds everybody here. Yeah, see. So policy is now procced. Policy is now procced. And that's actually good to know that he outspeeds. I kind of want my Calyx to survive here then. Calyx, that thing goes next too. Wow. So that Bulldoze does basically nothing to him. That Bulldoze does nothing. So we know he outspeed. We know he outspeed pretty much everything. Gashon's going to be able to soak up all day. And uh, what's he going to do here? He's going to end up going for a Steel Spike into my Calyx to take him out, right? Yeah, so Calyx is going to drop out here, no problem. Um, What do I do from here? Maybe Dynamax. Do I get Dynamax in? Defense boost is out. We know that Zacian is fastest on the field. Well, faster than both of those Pokemon. But I can definitely bring out... I could bring out Incineroar if I want to, but I just don't think Incineroar is a call. I think we save Incineroar for the back end. I think we just bring out Konomo'o at this point and just Dynamax him, right? Going to max this lovely Konomo'o, who might be faster. He might be faster. He might be a fast, faster Konomo'o. Konomo'o might be faster than Solgaleo, which would be huge, which would be enormous. But, uh, how should we play this? Give an attack boost. We could flare. We could give an attack boost. Uh, I'm thinking just double down in this Pokemon. What do you think Gasher's doing? Actually, I could set up a sub. I'm going to set up a sub here. I'm going to set up a sub. I'm going to go for a flare. I'm going to say that uh, Solgaleo is going after my Zacian. Knowing that we can do some big damage. And Gashon might just protect here. Protect or recover? I really don't care. I'm really only worried about this Soul So if I can get off this Flare, chip off some damage, next turn I should be able to take him out. We're hoping Konomo'o is a bit faster. It's close speed. It's a close speed battle. This one plays out here. Yep, Konomo'o does go first. It's beautiful. And we're going to chip off some damage there. Another Max Flare should be able to take that out, no problem. And please go after my Zacian. I probably should just protect Zacian, but I do like sub -suit. I do like Sub a little bit better because even through the protect, if he if he send the max quake, it's doing more damage. So let's see what he does. He's going for the quake. He goes for a steel spike. Ooh. Who's he going after? He's going after Zassian still. We love it. We love it. So he's still going after Zassian. He's getting that defense boost. Um, we have flamethrower, so that's special attacking all day. So a, a flare should be able to take out uh, Solgaleo, no problem. Let's see what he's going for with uh, Gashon. He's gonna go for a yawn. Uh, so he might double down on the guard. He might double down on the guard. I have no way of changing terrain, which is a little tough. You might double down on the guard. I'm just going to flare, and I think I'm just going to set up another sub. 
I'm gonna set up another sub here. He's gonna wait for my Konomoto to go to sleep, so he might just protect. If he doesn't protect Solgaleo, Solgaleo does go out. Not a bad yawn from him. Yeah, so he does guard. He does end up guarding. He does end up guarding. We're gonna block here. And he's gonna put Konomoto to sleep. The sub is still gonna be set up, though. It's gonna be a close battle. It's gonna be a real close battle. Super close battle. What's uh, is he recovering? Please don't recover. He's gonna recover. He's gonna recover some HP. That's a little tough because my boy goes to sleep. I should have swapped him out. Should have swapped him. This, this battle's gonna be super close. Ridiculously close. Hmm. So we have sub up ready to go. Konamo is dropping out to sleep. Uh, he does have one more Dynamax turn, so he's just gonna be big here, being able to bulk up some shots. We're kind of just gonna roll from there. Okay. Maybe we can have a one turn sleep. That can be big for us. But now the real question is, do I just uh? What do I do? Do I just get after Solgaleo here? Or do I go after Gastro? I could do some mean damage on the Gastro here. I'm gonna go after Gastro here. I'm gonna go after Gastro. I need my boy Konamo to wake up, like, next turn. That would be beautiful. He's gonna end up withdrawing you. Okay, that's huge. He's gonna end up withdrawing and he's gonna go into his, uh, back into his Mimikyu. So Mimikyu's chilling here. Mimikyu's not a bad, not a bad little pokey there. Not a bad little pokey. We're gonna we're gonna swap out. Hopefully we get our sub super next turn. This is such a good battle. Player gonna poke here. How much damage are we doing? Wow, dude, those defense boosts are definitely doing him good. Definitely doing him good. He's gonna end up going for an earth power, taking off my sub suit, right? Or can my sub eat that? Sub eat that. Sub eat that. No, sub does not eat. It. So I could set up another sub. I'm thinking of protecting this turn. Just for the sheer fact is uh Konomo should wake up at rather soon. I'm kinda with that. I don't know. What do I do here? What does Jeans do here? Hmm. My defense is going to go down after this, but I just think it's a fine turn. I just think it's a fine turn because we do have speed. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect here. Hmm. I don't know if there's a point of protecting here. No, nah, I have to protect. Just in case he doesn't wake up. We're going to protect. Zassian, we're finally going to use our first protect on Zassian, but yo, what a great, like, that yawn was huge for him. Wake up. Yes, let's go, Komo. That's a big wake up here. It's not going to affect the, uh, the Mimikyu, but we should be able to, uh, bring that thing down low HP, right? Yeah. So he's low on HP. What's he going to go for? We do have Throat Spray, which is a beautiful move right there. Lovely little Throat Spray. He's going to kick in here. And he's going to go for Recover, so I'm, I'm cool with that turn. What is Mimikyu going for? That's the real question. Mimikyu going for a Play Rough. Please leave me alone. I'll be dead all day if he goes for a Play Rough. He's going to trick him. So he pops Trick Room. That's a smart play by him. So he's room full of tricks. Uh, this is tough, dude. This is tough. Our opponent's making some great plays. <laughs> he really is. I was hoping that would have taken out the Gashon on. Their spray's triggered. Um, hmm. Probably should have went for this. Would have been a great move. Uh, I don't want to double down on Mims. But Mims is just going to rip into me, right? Mimikyu is going to rip into me. I think my I think both my Pokemon go out here. Earth Power, can you eat this up, please? Eat this up. Eat this up. Oh yeah, dude. And he's just gonna pop a play rough. We're dead. That's GG's. Yo, our opponents outplayed us at the end there. Play rough coming in hot. Oh wait, did we dodge it? Oh, we did dodge it. It's a big time dodge. It's a big time dodge. Big time dodge. I like that dodge. Big time dodge, Konomo. -o. Wish I had protect, because I would love to protect the next turn. We get to bring out instant or we can obviously fake out, but I'm not gonna go for the fake out. I'm going for that flare blitz right into that Mimikyu. That Mimikyu is scaring me. And of course, the sunlight that just faded. <laughs> and I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. But yo, that yawn was legit MVP. Right? That yawn's MVP. If not, we were sitting in such a good spot. We had Konomo'o Dynamax. We had him sitting real pretty. We had our team sitting real pretty. But dude, that yawn set him up for perfection. Because then he was able to trick him with Mimikyu. And pose a big threat to us. That was huge. So we bring out... In cinema, we're minus an attack onto the Mimikyu. That's big. That is big news, but Barry moves four times super effective onto us. And psh, what do I do? Wait, uh, psh, psh. do I do? I, I would love to protect. I kind of want to go for this. I'm not even gonna lie, but Krim just does it so dirty. I think I have to double down into like Mimikyu here with Flamethrower. Flare Blitz. I'm not even gonna fake out. I'm just gonna have to get after this Pokemon. I'm just gonna have to get after him. He's gonna yawn me, yo. Leave me alone with the yawns, man. Leave me alone. Sonora does go next. See, yo, dude, if we had the drought, of course, drought ended one, one turn too soon. 
The child, I don't think the child would have been able to pick up a KO. I don't think it would have, but he's gonna go for a player off and he finally connects it with Ned there. All day. All day. Four times super effective. Konomo O drops out like nothing. That's why Konomo O is actually like one of the weaker uh pseudo legendaries. It's because of its typing. Dragon and fighting when fairy is so like prevalent and super strong in the meta. It just doesn't stand a chance up against a lot of different. But uh, yeah, that's going to be battle number one. Not a bad battle. Long and drawn out, but our opponent just started outplaying us at the end once he got off that yawn. Let's get rolling here in battle number two. Looking for our first victory. At last battle, didn't go too bad. Our first half was very solid. We looked like we were on top, and then he yawned me and rolled out from there. So we're on one. We're going up against a heavy trick room team with Dust Cops and DD, Grim Snarl, Ice Fire, Calyrex, Palkia, and Thunderous. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I'm trying to think of like ways we can like kind of get around trick room here. Is there any way we can get around Trick Room? It's looking tough. It's definitely looking tough. Indeed, what moves are you rocking? I think you just have like the normal moves, right? Yeah, I mean, helping hands not too bad. Ah, this is this is real tough. I think we gotta go Calyrex though. I think we gotta go Calyrex and maybe go in with like Thunderous. But if he just goes into like a Follow Me Pokemon, we can really get that deal. He's going to you. He's going to Zassy and trying to roll from there. But that Pokemon is scary. That 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 Incident War is definitely or not Incident War. That uh, I shot a Calyrex is definitely scary. I think we go Zassy. Super leading, or we can lead you. But if he goes in DD, which he probably is going to, it just ruins my fake out, right? Then, and then I could party shot, but then he just followed me. So I just think, I just think it's instant or not instant. Or not. I was asking the Calyrex, but we'll bring Konamo in the back, try to have some fun with this one. And then last but not least, we go instant or instant or could come in clutch. I probably should have went thunderous because I just realized he had defined thunders. But we're gonna go with our instant or. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Because, dude, it's obviously Trick Room all over the place. I feel like that's a, that's a weak spot for this team. It's just like, dude, Trick Room can steamroll me. Trick Room can just steamroll me. But we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. Is he going to lead the Indeedee? Probably, right? Yes. Thunder's in Indeedee. So we do not go into Incineroar, which is a great call. That's a beautiful call for us. It's a huge call for us because both my Pokemon outspeed. Both my lovely little Pokemon outspeed. Okay, dude, I'm, I'm I'm all about this turn. So we could go into follow me, obviously. Do some work. We could go into an expanded force now. If we wanted to. Which I might do. I might do. We have speed all day. We got spooky music. What 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 is this from? This is from like the bead battle. Or not bead, uh. What is it? When when you reverse from one of the the, the, the trainers in the story mode. <laughs> I forget their, her name. But I could definitely drop a an expanded force now. It would probably be a little bit better, right? It's doubled, yeah. I love it. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to pop that. And do I sub? I could definitely sub this turn. But I think I'm just going to Behemoth Blade. I need to Indeedy here. Because Follow Me is going to come out here. I'm going to get some damage off. We're going to get rolling here. So he's going to Dynamax the Thunders. I'm, I'm with this. I don't mind it. I don't mind it too much. I don't mind it too much. Is he going to go into an Airstream? That's the real question. If he goes into an Airstream, I would rather have him take out Calyrex. Or go after Calyx, because then my Zassian could be full HP. And we can pop a Behemoth Blade. Even though it's not very effective, it's still going to do a solid amount of damage, right? Let's see. Is Follow Me coming out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Indeedee should probably go down here. We shouldn't take a nice chunk of health from this, uh, from the Stunners, right? Yeah, not a bad chunk of health there. Not a bad chunk of health. Behemoth Blade's going to fly next. This should take out Indeedee, no problem. Which I really like. Really do like this turn. Send it. Send it, baby. Later. Get him out of here. Cool. Indeed, he gone. So, support mine's gone. He gets off one follow me. And Thunder's just dying. So, let's see what he goes for. What are you going for? Airstream? He's going to go for the Airstream. So, he wants speed boost. Go into Calyx, please. He just going to Calyx. Okay. So, my Zassian's not sitting in a bad spot. My Zassian's not sitting in a bad spot. So, he has a bunch of Trick Room Pokemon after this, right? Palkia. I could play rough it. I could definitely play, play rough it. I could play rough this thing, which I kind of want to. I'll go for the Astro Barrage at this point. Actually, Expanded Force will do a little bit more, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Expanded Force will do a good bit more. So I'm going to go into this. I'm going to play rough you. As much as I want to sub, I probably could have subbed last turn. But I, I'll take the kill all day. Is he protecting? No, he's not. He's going to go for an Airstream into Calyrex, right? So Calyrex goes down, and if I can get off this player off, this could be big damage, which I think we should be fine getting this off. We should be fine getting this off. Hopefully, he's, uh, actually, is he going to go for a trick room? I don't know. I kind of want him to now that he's doing this. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for Hydro Pump. Earth Power is going to come out here, which we should be able to soak pretty easily here. So, yeah. We soak that up. I'm with that. He's going to show that he's orb. We've seen Landis player off. Landis player off, please. Land it. 
Thank you very much. Take him out. Boom. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Palkia gone. He has one more turn left in Dynamax. And we do have... Did we bring in Cinnamon in the back end? We did. So he is not coming out here. We're going to Konomo -Oh all day. Get him out of here. Get Konomo -Oh right on out here. I'm going to Dynamax. And just, he's got to be Ice Fighter Calyx in the back, right? And I'm just going to drop a... Yeah, it's going to be Calyx. I'm just going to drop this beautiful uh, attack drop onto this Pokemon. You know that Ice move is scaring me, man. That Ice move is definitely scaring me. Who do I go at after here? I feel like I go after Thunderous. I feel like we're going to have to start dropping him. I'm going to go after Thunderous here. Actually, he could pop a Trick Room. Which I don't mind. I do not mind if he pops a Trick Room. So I do have Instant Order back in who I could just fake out next turn. So I'm just going to go here. Pop Defiant. That's totally fine. He is going to go first. And I'm just going to double down into, into this Pokemon. It's kind of close. It's kind of real close. Because Konomo'o should be able to eat up a Glacial Lance, right? Konomo'o in Dynamax should be able to eat up one Glacial Lance, which would be huge for us. Which would be enormous. I wonder what he's going to do here. I wonder if he's going to Airstream or is he going to pop a... Pop another uh, Trick Room. Or pop not another Trick Room. Just pop Trick Room in general. I think he Airstreams to take out my Zacian, right? Which I was going to protect, but... Let me just get after this, right? Airstream, yeah, into my Zacian. Who's he going after? Yeah, it's asking. I could have protected him. I probably should have protected him. That probably would have been a play. That would have been a beautiful play. But yeah, we're going to Defiant Pop here. We're going to Defiant Pop. Uh, Konomo should still be faster than... Uh, should be faster than uh, Calyrex. So yeah, we're going to get minus one. I'm with this all day. I'm, I'm with Pop and Defiant to do that. I'm with that all day. I'm with it all day. But at this point, I'm going to double down into uh, Thunders. I'm going to fake out and double down into him. I'll pop Defiant all day. Just to get this attack shop. Glacial Land's going to come out here. And yeah, we soak up. So now I can come out with another Intimidate. We're going to raise him to plus two. But I'm going to have to fake him out and roll from there. I'm just going to have to fake him out and keep going. Because if I can keep minusing his uh, stats, we should be chilling here. Should be chilling here. This is tough. This is going to be so close. This is going to be such a close battle. I think it comes down if this Thunders protects here or not. Right? I feel like if this Sunders protects, I'm sitting in a tough spot. Right? If this Sunders, oh, dude, if this Sunders doesn't protect, we're sitting fine. I could go after Cadillac. I could definitely go after Cadillac here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double down into actually. Oh, we have terrain. Oh, that's tough news. That's tough news. How many turns left in terrain? Two. It's real tough news. Still gonna worm win, and you know what? I'm just gonna fire blitz. I'm double down to Thunders. This Thunders has to go. This Thunders has to go. He's gonna fly. Oh my lord, no! He just flew me. And actually, okay. That might help me. That might help me. That might help me. This is tough. That might help me. He trick room. So he's going to go first with Calyrex. So I might want to double down with Calyrex. I'm going to double down to Calyrex here. I'm going to get rid of him. Because we should be able to eat up Glacial Lance all day. High horsepower. We should be able to eat that up. All day. Oh, we do have Shuka Barry. Who's unnerved? He has unnerved. He does have unnerved. So Flare Butt's going to fly here. Trick room's helping us out. Rickham is helping us out. Can we KO here? Oh, we get a burn. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This thing is going to have his uh, weakness policy. Okay. Wow, we should have went for a flare here. Did we go for a flare? I don't know if we did. Did we? No, we went for a worm. Why would we do that? We should have went for a flare. Worm is going to poke here. And burn will take him out. That's huge. Okay, so we get the burn take out. But we get that minus one. We should have flared. Just for a flare, but still a bit more damage. Wow. Should have flared set up. Be huge flash and come in. Can we soak that? Super effective. Oh my god, dude. we're gonna lose. Actually, no, we have trick room. We have dude. If we flare, we would have been sitting pretty. This is coming down. This is coming down to the wire. Will flare butts be able to take out? That's the real question. If we flare, we would have had weather. What am I doing? What am I doing? That would have been super effective. Shot. What kind of play was that, jeans? If we lose this because damage isn't high enough, that's on me. We might do. All right, Incineroar. Get it done, dude. Let's get it done here. Let's get it done. Get it done. Flare Butt's coming in hot. Show it to me, baby. Flare Butt's taking him out. Do him dirty. 
Let's go. Let's go. Thank God, because that one would have been all on me, but that is how it's done. Konamo -Oh coming up clutch. Incineroar definitely coming up clutch, and we go one and one for today's video. Let's hop to a third. Look for that winning record. If we would have lost that last battle, that one would have hurt the heart. That really would have hurt the heart, because I don't know what I was doing. Should have thought about my play a little bit more. Should have went to a flare at the end there, but we take those wins all day. We're sitting one and one, and we're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a pretty solid tripling team here. He's got Calyrex. He's rolling out with uh, Reg Ram, Incinemore, Amoongus, who is a stud in trick room. Just spores left and right, and then he's got Gaston and Mimikyu, who is really good at setting up trick rooms. Okay, um, how should I play this one? Calyrex isn't too bad. Cali Cali's not too shabby here. Um, I, I always like Calyrex as a lead. I just think it's solid all, all around. Because he can't be faked out either, so... And he can't be intimidated. I like it so much. So, Calyrex, you're coming in as a lead. Could go Kona Mo -Oh, but... I don't lean it towards a bit more Thunderous on the side. Just in case he wants to go into an Intimidate Pokemon of his, on, of his own. But I'm kind of leaning towards more so, like... Yeah, no, let's go Thunderous. Let's go Thunderous. I do like Thunderous, because we can do work onto Amoongus as well. Who's probably rocking the Koba Berry, which we do not like. We do not like the Koba Berry. Um, okay. Uh, so we're gonna go to them too. I gotta bring Zassy in the back end, and I just think Incineroar is gonna be just such a good option up against a Mimikyu, Calyrex, and an Incineroar. So Konamo, -Oh, thanks for popping out in battle number two. It's all good. It's all good. We're rolling into battle number three, and this one's looking real tough for me. I do not like this. Match. I do not like this matchup, but hey, guess what? We cannot go 0-3 because we won that last battle. It's beautiful. We love it. We love it. So we're sitting one and one, one and one. I wish we would have won that first battle. That first battle could have been nice. This so first battle victory could have been beautiful. He's going to go Mimikyu and Incineroar. Oh, we love that. We don't mind it one bit. Because I can Dynamax. I can Dynamax. What is, dude, he's got to pop a Trick Room, right? Should I allow him to pop a Trick Room and just go for an Attack Boost? Yeah, I could allow him to pop the Trick Room, you know? Right? I mean, he gets it off regardless. Does he get it off regardless? Oh, no, he doesn't. We Dynamax here, we're thriving. Because I can do this. Then just lighting in the slot. What a KO. He's gonna do parting shot. You might protect. What is he gonna do here? I'm with this. I'm with this all day. I'll lightning here. I don't want to airstream just in case he wants to. Try to get off trick room. I think speed we're fine. I think we're just worrying about damage at this point. That's not a bad lead for us. I'm just I think I'm just overthinking right now because I'm thinking of ways that he can kind of just like get after me. If he protects his Mimikyu and parting shots, that could be a solid turn for us, but then we defy and pop again. So let's see what he does. But cool, he doesn't protect. We get rid of Mimikyu, no problem. Mimikyu's gone. Okay, I, I'm I'm all for this turn. I'm all for this turn. Mimikyu is gone. Mimikyu is out of here. Get him gone. Get Mimikyu out of here. And what is that? What, what do you have? An eject bug? I'm, I'm fine with that. He swaps. He's, he just procked my Defiant and he left. He said, I'm out of here if he popped this Defiant. And it, he wanted that just so we can go into like a Pokemon like this after his Trick Room. But Trick Room's not, it's not happening. Trick Room's not happening. Your Mimikyu's dead. I'm sorry to tell you. Your Mimikyu is gone. <laughs> Mimikyu is out of here. Now I can go for a nice little airstream shot. Um, but I think he does bring out a Pokemon that can pop a trick. I don't think he goes back into Incineroar. I think he goes in like Calyrex at this point, right? Right, Calyrex got to come out here. But then we just Astral Barrage it. I think we're sitting so pretty. I think we're sitting in such a good spot. Yeah, Calyrex coming out here. I think he's going to try to pop a trick room, right? Or go for it, Buttercup. We don't need to go for an airstream. I mean, we could, but I think this thing is going to be Koba Buried, and I still might do it anyway. But, like, I'm saying we don't have to go for one because we have speed. But, yeah, Ashley Barrage coming in hot. It's coming in hot. Real hot. Real spicy. Real zesty. I could go for a lightning. But, nah, we're going to go for an airstream over on this slot. Actually, we might double down the Calyrex slot. I just think, now nah, we're going to get it for some Lucas. I think Rage Powder is coming in hot, though. Is he powdering Rage? No, he's going to straight up Dynamax. He's straight up Dynamax. And last ditch effort, he's like, yo, I got a Dynamax. We got to get after it right now. But we have, don't we have Incineroar in the back? Which is huge. That's, that's exactly why we brought Incineroar for this dang horse right here. But I'm surprised he went with that lead. Surprised he went with that lead. We we had like the most perfectly counteracted lead for, that, for his lead. 
You just go for a rage powder. So good thing we did go into the airstream. Astro Barrage is going to chip up damage. Hopefully this thing's not policy. And we're gonna rip into an Astro Barrage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Show me no Koba Berry. It is policy. Son of a biscuit. But at least he's not uh non-dynamax. Because I feel like he would have been a bigger threat, non-dynamax, rocking glacial lances left and right. But airstream comes through here. This thing is not Koba Berry, so get it on out my game. It is gone. We get uh airstream boost and we should be fine here. We should be totally chilling. He's gonna go after Calyrex with, a, with an ice move. That would take him out because uh, the Buffets will take off a Sash. Or he's gonna go after Thunders. He's gonna go for the Hailstorm. Who are you going after? That's, I think that's on Calyrex, right? Thunders is dead. Okay, so Thunders goes out here. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We lose our Sash, but we can Astro Barrage. Um, he's gonna get a Grim Nade boost, but I'm just gonna Intimidate and drop it. He's slow, yo. This Pokemon's slow. I mean, he can go into his instant too. It's a little scary. So I'm just gonna go into mine and fake him out. Do I even fake him out? I don't even think I fake him out. I just, I just hop in for the intimidate, dude. I'm gonna go for a parting shot, maybe. Cause if I can parting shot and get off another intimidate coming back in, that would just solidify the battle. I can roll in his ass in later and just <laughs> slapping up into him with behemoth blades. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Cause you can't fake out my Cali Cali. My Cali Cali Rex, yeah. With no focus ash anymore. Okay. The speed's on our side because we, we said no to Trick Room. We said, yo, Trick Room's not happening. Told him Trick Room's not happening. My Intimidate's coming out here. His Intimidate's coming out here. And I do like where we're sitting for this final battle. It's going to be close, but I do like where we're sitting. We can pop a beautiful Ash Barrage, ship up some more damage, and I said, I'm going to go for a Parting Shot. I'm going to go into Calyrex here. He's even on the board. Incineroar's minus one. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I think he takes out my Calyrex, right? I don't think he's going to... Is he gonna fake out? He might fake out. If he fakes out, he fakes out. I'm really not too worried about it. But what he could do is actually like not going to fake out, go into a what is it, throat chop or a darkest lariat, take out my Calyrex, and then his Calyrex can take out my Incineroar. But Incineroar should be faster, so I should be able to get off a parting shot beforehand. Nice lovely parting shot. Astro Barrage, y'all. Oh, chipping up. We chipping. My Calyrex survives another turn. It's obviously over. Parting shot comes out here first. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. But now the problem is I have to go into Zassy. If he's going for a Quake, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. <laughs> Let's see what he does. So Zassy can come out here. I'm still chilling with both my Incineroars. Or with, with my full HP Incineroar. I just wanted those attack drops. It's just too big. And then we come back out here and throw him another one. Which he cannot swap or cannot revert. So he's minus one on Calyrex. He's minus one on Incineroar. I do like where we're sitting. He's going to end up going for a parting shot of his own. Into my Zassy. It's my sassy now. How dare you? How dare you? And the Hailstorm's gonna fly and go after Calyrex. I'm 100% down with that turn. I'm 100% down with that turn. Because even with sassy and being minus one here, a Behemoth Blade still rips into his Calyrex. It still rips his Calyrex, takes him out, no problem. We have him at low HP. And then I can kind of just start getting after this in right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think a Flare Butts will take me out. Plus, I'm just gonna fake him out anyway. That's what I play all day. I'm gonna fake out onto the Incineroar slot. Just so he can't flare what's into me, and I'm just gonna be Heath Blade into the uh, Calyrex slot. And that pretty much wraps it up. Especially another Intimidate here. Actually, he Calyrex is back to minus one. He's minus one because he's back to even because he just killed my Calyrex. But Incineroar sitting here, minus dose. Minus two. We love it. We love it. So yeah, fake out coming in hot. And then we're just gonna drop this Behemoth Blade on top of it. Get him on out here. Get him on out of here. GG's winning record. Konoma O Team Fire. Konoma O Team Fire? <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Let's see. Have any water left? He's gonna guard. What a wimp, yo. What a wimp. And that's exactly why we fake out. So now he gets off no turn. And we just do the same thing next turn. There's Behemoth Blade. And then we just Darkest Larry. Who, who cares? It's over. GG's. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. Thanks for showing out. It's a good game. Hard fought battle, but Jeans is taking the cake like always. Like always, Jeans takes the cake. We all about taking that cake, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah let's just uh drop target slayer actually what would do more damage probably flare blitz right lovely little flare blitz yeah it has higher attack power we'll flare blitz and i'll just i'm just gonna blade again i don't like this calyrex so i'm gonna just slap it with this giant sword calyrex goes for double protect that was his last ditch effort that was actually a smart play by him last ditch effort but i just don't think your antenna was doing enough damage to take me out he's minus two we played the intimidate game really really well behemoth blade flies through here calyrex go home go back to your ice mountain I forget the name of what it's called. 
But yeah, go back to your Ice Mountain and Incineroar. My Incineroar is better. My Tony the Tiger is better. Look at that. Big old Flare Blitz for the KO. 40 KO. Let's go. 2 and 1 for today's video. We grab ourselves a winning record with this amazing Konamo O team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely winning record with this Konamo O team. I'm glad I got to show off this Pokemon and this team to their fullest potential because you never, you can just never see Konamo O on the rank ladder. So it's definitely fun using them. Definitely fun to actually rock out with them and grab a win while using them as well. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.